Okay, here we are. We have the uh, oil barrel and we've loaded it up. You want to take a look inside. So we have some bigger material on the bottom and then we have some uh, smaller kindling and then we have this lighter stuff on the top and a bit of paper. So that's just to get it started. So here we'll just get it going. Here we go, and again, here's your white smoke. Starting to get it going. A little bit, right now it's not smoking too much, it's gone to its clear phase, but initially it had a lot more white smoke. So it's, uh, it's a much faster process actually. Uh, we've already got it started and we've started adding some big material into it. Whereas the Contiki, because it's uh, we started at the top, it's slowly burning down and hasn't. Even, we haven't even started adding more big stuff to it. So this is more like a, a rocket. It's faster. Here we go, you can see this is what happens when we get to the, uh, the stage just before adding another layer. So you can see that it's starting to just have a light covering of ash on there. And so what we want to do is add another layer to that. And then once you add the next layer, it cuts off the oxygen to the layer below. And so it'll stop turning to ash. So this is ready to go. Okay, so we're about 70% done. The barrel's filled to about there. As you can see, I've started adding smaller bits of wood because we want it nice and hot at the top and we want them to burn fast. We used a lot bigger wood further down, but at the top you want the char to burn really fast so that we can finish it off nicely and everything gets burnt really well. So there we are, we finished it, we filled it up with water. As you can see, the water is right here at the surface, so we filled it right up and the biochar has floated up just a little bit. So what we're going to do next is we got some urine here, high in nitrogen, excellent source of nitrogen, and we're going to be charging. So we use roughly a half bucket of urine is what we're going to be putting in here. Okay, so we've added the urine to the biochar. And so this is basically going to sit here overnight. And what that does is the, uh, the activated carbon that we've created with the burn will suck up all the nutrients from the nitro all the nitrogen from the urine. And sitting for overnight. We burned it yesterday. And this is what we've got. You can see it's sucked up a fair bit of the water here. It's gone down about uh, 15 centimeters. And that's like a, a perfect home for your bacteria and your fungus to grow in. Which will, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to drain this out and because it, these are like little sponges it sucks up so much water it's a huge amount of water that's being sucked up in here and so we're not going to dry it out we're just going to lay it out and we're going to crush it a little bit and then we're going to add our, our different components our manure, our molasses, that sort of thing to get the, the process started to absorb into this activated carbon so let's, uh, we're going to just take it out and we'll lay it out because we want to lay it out nice. So when we put our manure down it's a little easier to work it in. As you can see this barrel is really heavy, full of water. Over here where we dumped out the biochar from the, the oil drum. This is the amount of char that we got. Okay, so we've spread the biochar out, as you can see. And you can see there's some big pieces here that we want to crush down. We don't want to turn it into dust, we just want to break up the big pieces. So it's a little bit easier to distribute. So we have this roller. The carpet, uh, carpet roller.
crushes it up nice. You can see we're not turning it to dust or turning, we still have some nice pieces in there. It allows the fungus and the different bacteria to have a